So one of the questions I hear a lot is how can I stop doing the compulsions or the rituals that I do? I know that they are not good for my OCD, but I cannot stop them. So here is the answer. Friends, a lot of the time uh, when people ask that, they already know the answer. But here is a little bit of an explanation into it. So let me ask you, how do you stop your car? You stop by stopping it. If you are going for a walk, how do you stop walking? You stop walking by stopping, by not moving anymore. And the same applies to stop doing compulsions. There is no magical way. You simply got to stop. The reason why we struggle to stop doing the compulsions is because of some lies that we believe. So a lot of people say things like, hey, I stopped the compulsions, but I'm still feeling pain. And I'm like, yes, you should. And in fact, you will for a long time before you get better. Because you need to understand that although compulsions are not good for your OCD, they give you instant release from the anxiety that you are dealing with. So friends, when you let go of something that gives you instant relief, you will feel pain. You will feel discomfort. And that's what treats OCD is leaning into discomfort and not into comfort. You've got to be willing to do what you don't want to do. You need to understand this, that although recovering from OCD is hard, so is not recovering. That although not doing compulsions is hard, so is doing a compulsion and never getting better anyway. You need to understand that compulsions are like fast foods. They are good for a little while, but then they keep you stuck in the long term. You don't want to be feeling good for a few days or a few weeks. You want to feel good for good. You want to recover from OCD. And friends, if you want to recover from OCD, you have to be willing to feel discomfort. You have to be willing to one by one face your fears, cut compulsions to a zero. I often tell people that a car needs gasoline to work and OCD needs compulsions. So if you keep doing a little bit of compulsion, your OCD will keep on moving a little bit. If you want your OCD to leave you alone, you've got to cut the compulsions. Recovery from OCD doesn't mean you will never have intrusive thoughts again because every human being on earth has intrusive thoughts. Recovery from OCD means that you learn how to respond to those intrusive thoughts the same way a non-OCD sufferer does. Those thoughts stop bothering you and they stop controlling your life. So if you want to regain your life from OCD, you have to stop believing the lies. You will not feel good straight away by cutting compulsions. In fact, you will feel worse. So are you willing to do that?